think there is a certain sentiment uh, that things are improving and picking up, uh, which is sometimes hard to say because uh, clients are still struggling and uh, and we don't see such a big change in the, in the street. But uh, but I think uh, uh, we see opportunities and uh, as some of uh, my colleagues mentioned before we're better off than one year ago and certainly better off than uh, two years ago. So it's uh, I think it's it's uh, cautiously optimistic. Or so I think uh, uh, the entire changes in the uh, insolvency regulation is going to mean potentially new work for us uh, in terms of uh, uh, time. Well, insolvency has generally been equal to liquidation in the Spanish market. That's, that has to change, and uh, I think uh, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, effort put into that in terms of changes in the regulation, and, uh, market attitude, uh, how banks uh, and uh, financial entities approach uh, pre-insolvency scenarios. And that, uh, that is also uh, an opportunity for consolidation. I think uh, that is uh, at least should be one of the, of the key features of the next 18 months. The size of the Spanish companies is still too small compared to uh, um, um, companies in, in Europe. That is uh, preventing them from exporting and uh, export is, is going to be uh, the key uh, for growth in the next, uh, in the next two, three years. So they need to consolidate, uh, find synergies and, and uh, realize that uh, they have to grow in size. And uh, you cannot do that organically, you, you will have to, to look for opportunities. Uh, so peers that uh, uh, can uh, be amalgamated with you, things like that. So another one is going to be, uh, well, the entire idea about uh, alternative finance and uh, Spain is a, it's also true because uh, uh, banks in Spain uh, have been very efficient and uh, say compared to uh, European and uh, US institutions, they, uh, well, it's, it's not by chance that uh, Santander and BBVA, for example, have grown so significantly over the last 10 years. It's because they are great institutions. So, yeah, but that has created also uh, a, a financing sector that is very dependent on uh, uh, banks, uh, on the form of saving banks. Uh, and that has to change uh, because it's healthy also. So I think uh, alternative uh, ways of financing like uh, debt issuances, uh, crowdfunding, uh, uh, new players in the market like uh, all the specialized funds uh, that are going to be lending money. Uh, this is something that we are already seeing and it's going to be evolving also in the next 18 months.